Hello, welcome to another build review. Today, uh, I've made a build for the Arc Strider. The uh, new fragments released uh, yesterday because some because of the uh, world's first team clearing the King's Fall raid. I'm using Gathering Storm in PvP for a lower base cooldown than Arc Staff. Gambler's Dodge, Strafe Jump, Combination Blow because it has a lower cooldown. Flashbang grenades for blinding enemies. Um, if they're behind a wall, I can see where they are behind it. And if they, uh, if someone tries to push me, I can throw a flashbang on the floor. Flow state for the aspect. Lethal current. I'm going to be using spark of feedback. Spark of recharge. Spark of frequency. And spark of shock. I'm using fate bringer for my primary using a one-two punch Xenoclast for my energy slot. If I come across a uh, Titan whose bubble that I need to go in to fight over for trials, or I hit every pellet in one shot, melee him insta-dead. Using at least one targeting for the hand cannon, using a hand cannon dex, Doing a unflinching for both shotgun and hand cannon using a hand cannon holster on the Gemini jesters, dodging disorients, and Control. temporarily removes the radar of the enemy. If someone's hiding around the corner, I can tell where they are based off the two tick damage from the blind for it. Capture and defend, guardians. And it looks like we have mid -tank. Try to get a real quick, and uh, since my Fatebringer doesn't have the most range, it does have uh, opening shot and explosive payload, but I don't want to challenge the long wing here. It isn't like either of my teammates want to, so I'm going to blind this closest person and then back off. Run back and do that. And now we are amplified, and... So that guy really just laggy teleported melee to me. That's awesome. He had the biggest lunge of his career, but that's okay. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Kind of figure out where these kids are. Someone's behind me. So I need to deal with that. Unfortunately, the, the same guy comes up to me again and kills me. But it is what it is. I got a really bad respawn there. Or what I felt like was a really bad respawn. Get info on where he is. I'm gonna help this person over in B. Looks like they actually got the kill. So we got the reset on that. So this flightist guy kind of just ran in here and shoved our shit in. So he was playing toward the inside right there. I blinded someone. He's trying to throw me off with that. Unfortunately, the teammate with Thorn was kind of just hiding right there waiting to have an opportunity. So he is right here on this corner. Unfortunately for him, he has an exotic in midair, so he can't really fight back that well with the in-air accuracy. So that kind of sucks for him. I feel like Thorn is such a poorly statted hand cannon anyway. I feel like they need to help it out with, uh, specifically with the range. I think it is significantly outranged by the other 140s. But... Maybe a way they can mitigate that is if they gave it really good airborne effectiveness. Just spitballing an idea. Because it needs help. The gun absolutely needs help. In my opinion. Even though as strong as Soul Devourer is. As a perk. 
I think the gun just genuinely at base needs help, but that's just my opinion. Use that to take away the closest radar, disorient the closest person. I wish I would have shot there. And again, my teammates, whoever was in mid right here, stopped holding their angle, so I guess I'll peek back to the inside right here. Um, looks like something happened. No one was immediately on me there, so I'm gonna pull back right here for a second and push up. Zone C captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold. So the closest person to me immediately is. Blinded. I'm gonna throw this off the wall right here. And that actually did blind someone, which is awesome. So I'm going to use that as a way to bottleneck the enemy. <clears throat> it, keep, it kept them from pushing that angle immediately. So now they're going to be behind us ready to fight. Yeah, I'm not ready to die to that. I believe that was an IG. I don't have quite the range to fight from that distance. That blinding grenade helped our teammate there a little bit. I believe. It was just enough. So we did get another flip there back to A. Keep the pressure on. I would like to help my teammate out right there. I'm gonna go over here to help out my teammate a little bit. Maybe get back behind cover and heal some. My recovery stat's pretty low, so I need to play behind cover a little bit longer. But that is something I can do. I thought the person was a little bit closer to me, so I could blind them with that, but they weren't quite there. I'm gonna throw a random flashbang off the wall right there to see if that helps our teammate. It just about did, but just about isn't good enough. So, I'm gonna get a different angle, see if I can help out from a wider shot, maybe. We pretty much did, like, no damage to each other there. Okay. I do believe I'm OE'd here, so I'm going to throw uh, Gemini's as a, uh, or the Radar Manip as a uh, way to keep myself alive. Back off and get back to my teammates. <clears throat> Now that my teammates are back up here, I'm gonna push back up with them. Pick up this orb of light. We pro yeah, we've got the flip here. And unfortunately the match is over. I wonder if that was a 3v. Oh, that was a 5v6. That's unfortunate. It kind of ended up playing like it. Like, you don't really see this much of a disparity in score this season. Like, literally 80 points. But, overall, not a bad game. I didn't frag out by any means. But, uh, we played smart. Kind of hate that that was the, uh... Kind of hate that it ended up being a 5v6. That's been a really big pain problem of the season is that people are just like leaving the games or maybe not, not loading in or something 
and the game doesn't fill out in time or something not enough before or not fast enough before the game is really impacted so that kind of sucks i kind of want to try uh bxr and see how that goes i had a lot of fun uh running this and this might be what i would use for trials this season even if it's not on arc i have a uh, alternate build where i play on void and I, but i may talk about that in another video yeah, Wastelander. Um, I really like the role for it. Um, the only thing I would optimally trade away is opening shot for uh, for one two punch. I don't really want to rely on my shotguns to be not trying to one hit someone as far away as possible with the lightweight. Anyway, lightweights are always best for cleanup since the high handling. <laughs> and BXR also has really high handling, so that's good. We can use uh, the BXR perk on the uh, Battler to get 200% damage on the next uh, shot after I melee someone so I can easily two burst. It's clutch. This is going to be a roll that is actually, I think it's going to be a sunset roll now. I don't think, uh, you can't get snapshot on the gun anymore. I know that. I think uh, in this column you can get Pugilist. And I feel like if I if I craft one, or I guess when I craft one, not maybe not if. I feel like I'll do it at some point. I'm going to keep this roll, but uh, I'm going to use Pugilist instead of Snapshot Sights. Maybe another change I would make is instead of Ricochet Rounds, maybe I would just go for... Uh, Alloy mag, not alloy mag, sorry. Um, Show me you steady work. rounds. So that way I can increase the stability more. So now that I'm using the Battler, unlike well, when I was earlier using Fatebringer, <clears throat> I can actually use the Battler to challenge longer lanes. Now, it does have a shorter range fall off than some other guns. I'm going to throw that. Grenade for a grenade. Mine doesn't connect, though. We actually have... Get teammates all around here. It looks like there's maybe at least two people. BXR perk helps me win that fight. Or I'm gonna back off of this. I feel like I'm outnumbered there, so I'm just going to leave. So I'm kind of just backpedaling right there. I'm going to try to team up on the person that maybe is the most likely to be by themselves there. If I'm in a bad situation like that. I feel like that is the course of action. Is just try to find the person who's maybe singled themselves out somehow. If I'm by myself and potentially do a collapse with my team. This is a nice little uh, BXR game so far. I need to stand in here with my teammate so he has a... Stands a chance of getting out. Watch my teammates. Okay. I'm going to throw this into open, even though it may not hit someone. Someone's behind me. Okay. I don't like having my back to them, so I'm going to rotate over here to my teammates respawns over at C. Okay. Help out my teammate right there how I can. Unfortunately, he is dead, but I did try to help them. They can't say I didn't. was literally looking to 
pre-aiming that opening. He has to back off. He has no choice. I'm going to get into this little cubby right here. And that's going to be my first death of the game, sadly. But it is what it is. Still played pretty well for the first life. All right, looks like they have a... Jade Rabbit right there is so impressive. He's literally getting shot by two different people and doesn't get flinched off his shot. Isn't that amazing? Nice job, guy. Let me know how that goes for you. I'm going to throw this up there to do some damage to the people while we have the flank. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work out how I wanted it to, but that's fine. Keep the pressure on. I'm going to throw that flashbang over there just in case. I think I did end up hitting someone with that, so that was clutch. That helps out the team a little bit. I actually got my gathering storm before this person used his... Used his... Uh, Ward of Dawn. Ward of Dawn is one of the lowest, if not... I think it and... Well of Radiance is supposed to be ties, tied for the lowest cooldown. Unfortunately, I get super there, but that's fine. Like, if he doesn't super me there, he dies. He has to super me there. He doesn't have a choice. This guy really wanted to kill me. I will say that. But whenever he's mid-air, I just dodge roll under him. He gets disoriented upon his landing. Plus the, plus the fact that he has to like account for AE now, or AE penalties, when he's in the air. So I don't... It's more things that he has to worry about than I do, than just him being in the air. Alright, I needed to back off of that, because I missed my first shot. <laughs> he does have the Arc Staff proc, so... Not to... Uh, not the best, luckily. I don't have to worry about it right this second. Teammates got that going. I'm going to show presence right here on the radar. He's probably in the small hall. And now he's misdirected. Teammate waits a really long time to team shoot him. I need to back off right here a little bit. That way I can kind of see what's going on. There's going to be one person peeking that far angle and then at least one close. Ooh, teammates got the, uh, teammates got Goldie. That means I can turn back around here and look for, look for this respawner. Teammate is just like completely clueless. That was a smart push. Er, yeah, for him to follow his teammate from behind. I'm gonna blind this closest person because I know he has super. Okay, if you have Shyuras there, you you need to win that. But there is a problem with Shyuras where the reticle does not stay steady whenever you are strafing. Whenever you're like doing a jarring strafe, like maybe quick left or rights, it does not, uh, the reticle does not stay steady. So if you ever like are using Shires and you struggle, that's why. Like I'll, I'll show you right here for example. So you can see how whenever I'm ADSing right here with the BXR, for the most part, it, the reticle's pretty steady to the center. It doesn't do that on Shires. Shyuras has this wild, wild sway on the reticle. Actually, do I have one on my character right now? No, I don't. But, uh, TLDR, yes, Shyuras still has the longest range for an SMG, but are you really willing to trust that? That's the cost of using your super. 
You solo super my team, I solo super you. <laughs> I'm not challenging that. He's got a scout rifle or something that I can't really fight. I'm gonna blind myself to end the game. But yeah, that is a... Uh, that's a... What I am running for Arc Strider this season for PvP. I really enjoy the build. If y'all have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, or let me know in the uh, in the comments, rather. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Have a good day.